So for today, we're going to be looking at the seasonal challenges plus Eververse. I usually do this weekly. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, and subscribe helps. Let's just get into it. Uh, Sorrow Bound 3, Complete Bound in Sorrow 3, and Defeat Scorn with Precision Final Blows. Again, this is just the story stuff. So this is literally what we all wait for each week. So just complete the story. Make sure you're getting headshots. And that's really it. Obviously, you hit, hit Scorn. But if you're doing this, Scorn should be available. Uh, next one is Nightmare Containment 2. Successfully complete tiers of the Nightmare Containment public event on the Derelict Leviathan throughout the season. Obviously, I'm not I have not done this one yet. Uh, but if you've been running Nightmare Containment a lot this season, then you might as you might have it completed. Uh, I just again haven't been doing it that much. Uh, loadout 2 on the Derelict Leviathan. Defeat combatants with shotgun or fusion rifles. Final blows and defeat powerful nightmares. Again. Uh, you're going to be completing this with Sorrowbound 3, so you might as well complete these two at the same time. And Nightmare Containment, if you haven't done that, then all of these three you can be able to complete at the same time. Uh, throughout Season of the Haunted, buying Nightmares after completing Tier 3 of the Nightmare Containment and open Opulent Chest on the Derelict Leviathan. Uh, this is Binding 1. This is not hard again. This is part of the story. I know I keep saying part of the story, but it really is. Um, Nightmare Harvested. You're definitely going to want to be in the Leviathan uh, doing the public event and just other stuff, which will help you com continue with the Sorrow Bound, Nightmare Containment, and Loadout, and this one as well. So obviously I've already completed this one, so I'm just going to complete it. Next one is Throne World Activities. In the Throne World, complete bounties and earn progress by completing patrols, uh, public events, and looting Lost Sectors. I personally complete these just by doing Lost Sectors over and over and over, just because uh public events take way too long patrols are not worth it in my opinion and obviously i would have some bounty as well um some easy ones to complete so that way it's not just lost sectors but lost sectors is the way i would usually complete this uh, reach power level 1560 by earning powerful rewards and prime engrams uh this one i think a lot of people should be able to complete this because 1560 was last season's uh pinnacle level and now it's 1570 if i remember correctly so this one shouldn't be too hard. Just play the game. You'll eventually get up to 1560. Uh, long range calibration. Calibrate long range weapons, pulse rifles, bows, and trace rifles in the throne world. Bonus progress in lost sectors. So this is easily double dipping each other. You're going to be doing lost sectors on on throne world. I forgot the world, the throne world uh, for a second. You're going to be completing lost sectors in the throne world, and you might as well be using pulse rifles, bows, or trace rifles uh, because this will not stack with this one, if I remember correctly. So just do these two together. And then last but not least, we got the playlist stuff. Defeat, defeat taken in Gambit, earn proneness progress for defeating tougher combatants. This one, uh, people might not complete the Gambit one, but if you are interested to see how I would do this, uh, just just kill the blockers that spawn uh, if you have the rare taken whatever it is then kill that one that one's also really good and then the actual uh, last boss I forget what his name is he also is really good too so just prioritize taking everything really uh, ultimate challenge or ultimate champion defeat champions in any nightfall strike on hero difficulty or higher or in brunish progress at higher difficulty tiers uh, I'll, I'll show you guys what I would do in uh, once we do all of these. Scorched Earth, defeat Guardians and Team Scorch, charge detonations in mid-air or on surfaces, earn bonus progress. This one's not hard. You could do the detonations or the surface one too, but I would just play the game. It's not going to take too long. As for the ultimate champion, this one, I would recommend this method, which is something I would do. Uh, go to the Nightfall. If you can, go up to the Legend so that way it's just you yourself uh it's uh prison of elders i don't remember which one is the first uh champion in prison of elders but it should be in the first area where there's a bunch of stuff if if and this is a big if if the first champion is not that far from the beginning then i would recommend just farming the first one over and over because i if i remember correctly did say just uh it didn't say defeat, right? Because if it said defeat, you might as well just keep doing it over and over. Uh, defeat champs. Okay, so it is. Just run, just run nightfalls then, because there is one where you have to like uh, stun champions. That's the one I thought. That one would be great for that method. But if that's the case, then I guess you could do it. I, I did this like 
of two weeks ago to complete a to complete a bounty what i ended up doing was i would kill the first champion and then kill myself and then do it all over until i got it done but that was more because i just didn't want to run nightfalls with people because people are being dumb in that nightfall as for eververse she she looking pretty good uh we got tide smoke which is a really cool shader i also have all the armor for the titan which this will be the next video to come up but this is a really cool shader i very 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 recommend this because it's so cool very sleek my only gripe with it is the secondary color is like it's chunky it's texture on it that's the only thing that i don't like the, te the texture is kind of chunky looking but if you're looking for a tactical look it looks really good with it uh specifically on my hunter but you guys will see that in actually the next video after this this one as well because i i ended up getting all the armor for my titan and i'm gonna be doing a tactical look for each of the classes i've already done so look out for that we have the endless appetite for the worm gun i forget what it's called it's pretty cool i like the moving part here I may actually scoop this up maybe the needle which is a ship oh it's weird that's cool uh as for the other stuff down here we have cover of the exile projection which is thanks i guess uh radiant breaker gauntlets these are the new ornaments from the solar uh 3.0 armor it's really cool i'm not gonna show every well i fuck it we'll show everyone right now But yeah, it's really cool. I really, really like this armor set. I'm excited to grab the whole thing because once we make the review of the armor, we're going to make the really cool armor set that I I already have in my head for a lot of them. Uh, we have the Broken Bird to be Healed ornament, which this is a really good ornament. I do think the other ornament for Ostringer is way superior, and I can't wait for that one to come out because I know it's coming up. The War Torn Peregrine, Peregrine which looks cool it definitely looks cool but it's just with with the amount of sh uh glimmer or not glimmer with the amount of brightness bungie gives us i just can't really justify getting ships sparrows and ghosts anymore uh metropolis shell which looks pretty cool um if you like that i'm I, it kind of looks like a potato but whatever we have the happy stars emote which i don't really care for and then the rising dawn which this one i'm actually kind of like man i kind of want this kind of maybe but no nah, i don't know as for the shaders we have the mr mr Suffer, mr Suffer, uh shader from the 30th anniversary event which looks really cool i definitely would recommend this one uh actually yeah that's it i would just recommend this it's really cool like i love the purple i love the green like the dark dark green not even dark but like very desaturated dark green uh purple black it just looks good so pick it up uh hazard pay which i definitely do not recommend this one but if you don't have it i mean it's one of those things like if you don't have a shader you might as well pick it up you might never know i i like to just like click on shaders just to see if something looks good and i've it hasn't happened for hazard pay yet but maybe one day it, it will the abyssinian gold this one is a i highly recommend this one i know there's a lot of brown but this is a really good black for cloth so if you have a lot of cloth on your on your guardian this is gonna be all black so i highly recommend this one for sure and then bloody tooth another good shader this is another one i recommend this is from season of the drifter which was a long time ago so if you don't have this one it's a really good black and black and red shader and there's also hints of silver as well that's like the off no not the off color that's the third color because the red i think the red is the off color and then the black is the main color and then the silver would be the the like accent color i don't know because yeah as you guys can see there's a bunch of colors so that's pretty much it. That is uh, your Eververse slash challenges. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I will be making, I'm almost done with the season pass. I do apologize. I should have, normally I would have been done with this already, but I've taken a big break off of Destiny uh, to uh, specifically like four or five days. Actually, to be to be quite honest, last week, the, the Iron Banner season or the Iron Banner week, I was just kind of like, I don't really care too much to do this, this like right now, which 
made me kind of want to play just this game which is uh v rising it's a really good vampire game which i've thought about putting in the channel but i don't know yet either way let me know what you guys think if you guys want to follow me on my social media i'll see something in the description below i thank you for all that came up to this point and i'll see you guys there